I'm Alvar Also. If you're watching this film, you already know and have worked with Gerald and Karen de Groot, founders and masterminds of the Dharma Initiative. By now, you also know there are many research goals for our joint venture. What you may not know is why we have assembled the Dharma Initiative, why we have assembled the brightest minds in the world and given them unlimited funds and access. As with all you have already been told, you are bound by your honor and commitment to keep what you are about to hear a secret. In a few weeks, after your induction counseling and survival training, you and your colleagues will be shipped to a top secret facility. The precise location of the facility is known only to myself, the De Groots, the few high-ranking members of my organization. Why all the security? All the secrecy? The answer is simple. Your research is intended to do nothing less than save the world as we know it. In 1962, only 15 years ago, the world came to the brink of nuclear war. The United States and the Soviet Union almost fulfilled the promise of mutual assured destruction, a promise they continued to foster through a destructive Cold War. After the Cuban Missile Crisis, both nations decided to find a solution. The result was the Valenzetti Equation. Commissioned under the highest secrecy through the UN Security Council, the equation is the brainchild of the Italian mathematician Enzo Valenzetti. It predicts the exact number of years and months before humanity extinguishes itself. Whether through nuclear fire, chemical and biological warfare, conventional warfare, pandemic, overpopulation, his results are chilling. And attention must be paid. Valenzetti gave numerical values to the core environmental and human factors in his equation. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, and forty-two. Only by manipulating the environment, by finding scientific solutions to all of our problems, will we be able to change those core factors and give humanity a chance to survive. Although the equation has been buried by those who commissioned it, panic. It has always been my belief that we ignore our warnings at our own peril, and thus the Dharma Initiative was born. Dharma is an acronym for Department of Heuristics and Research on Material Applications. It also stands for the one true way. And through your research, you will help humanity. We have constructed several stations on the island. Underground laboratories with the facilities you will need to do your research with the optimal expediency. All of the support you will need, including regular medicine and food drops, will be made in perpetuity. A radio transmitter has also been erected on the island broadcasting in a frequency and encryption known only to us. The transmitter will only broadcast the core numerical values of the valence at the equation. When, through your research, you manage to change the numerical value of any one of these factors, when you have created through science that we will know that the one true way has been found. That is the work to which you have committed yourself. Change the core values of the valence at the equation and you will change the course of destiny. The fate of the human race is in your hands. Thank you, and namaste. We all know what happened. The Dharma Initiative failed. And in spite of every effort of the Foundation, we are gripped in the tyranny of those six numbers. We have tried to change those values by manipulating the environment in many, many ways. We have done our level best, and yet this inscrutable <coughs> equation keeps bringing us back into the numbers. So now we have to take radical action. And I just want to tell all of you that I trust you to do what is best. The villages of Falam and Bitu Walami have allowed us to test our vaccine on them. They think they're infected with a virus carried by local macaques. And they believe we are bringing them the cure. So when you go in, you have to keep up the story. You know it by heart. Don't waver. When the deaths begin, you must comfort everyone with compassion and empathy. And the bodies of the dead must be brought to this station immediately for full genetic workup. We must make absolute certain we are hitting precise genetic targets we have engineered into the virus. The optimal mortality rate is 30%. 
our operatives at the Dick Institute have verified this figure. More or less people succumb, we have failed. We need not take any more lives than is absolutely necessary. Yes. These are people, innocent human beings, and we're just you knew with mathematical certainty that you could end all famine, war, and poverty. What would you do? Exactly. You'd find the best way to get it done. Precisely, surgically, without allowing for any more suffering than is absolutely necessary. It is not fair that innocence have to die so that we can perfect this virus. But I promise you, someone is going to help us. Is there something reflecting in the back? Oh God. Somebody, somebody grab her. Oh, there she is. Oh, God. 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 Oh,